What's up everyone, Trey Thousand DT with another video. This time we're looking at the 2010-2011 version of the Vans ACOT. Um, these are Taka Hayashi, or designed by Taka Hayashi. And uh, I know you guys probably remember my other video, I have the brown uh, leather pair here. And uh, these are the black suede. And um, what I figured I'd do, I left it out last time. I didn't put these on my feet, show you what they look like on the feet. So what I'll do is I'll show you what both of them look like on your feet. And uh, just a little comparison, I mean, outside of the fact that they're both different colors and different materials, you'll see the insoles a little different, had plain insoles. Um, Quality-wise, they're both the same. They're both very good quality. Um, they fit very narrow, so you're gonna have to go a half size up. Uh, whatever you would wear in an Air Max 90, pick up in these. Whatever you pretty much would wear in um, Air Max 90s, uh, MX ones. Trying to think of another shoe that runs pretty narrow. Um, most running shoes tend to run narrow. Pick the, whatever you would wear in like maybe an A6 Gel Light three. Pick up in these. So just see. They look like um, the. 2000, these are the 2009, I, th I believe, 2009 version. These came with a second set of thin laces. These didn't. At least I haven't seen them yet. Um, the color of the box is a little different. Actually, the, uh, the first generation box seemed like it was a little bit better quality. Um, although pretty much, feels just a little, this one feels a little different. You'll see there's a difference in, in color a little bit. They both come with the uh, with the little baggie. Store your shoes in. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I didn't, I didn't get a second set of laces with mine. Maybe some people did. I didn't see one. I did get a second set of laces with the first generation. So anyhow, the uh, the next portion of this video is just gonna show you what they look like on your feet with uh, with jeans. And uh, this way, you know, you'll be able to figure out, you know, maybe what color you want to get. Um, like I said, these are the old, <clears throat> these are the old nines. These are the 2010, 2011. Um, the uh, they came back out this well last year, early this year with the uh, this colorway, a gray colorway, um, like a white cream and a like a tan suede. So you know maybe when you see the video with both shoes. Maybe you'll make a decision like that. Anyhow, let me uh, jump to the next portion of the video. Alright guys, so this is what they look like on your feet. I want to let you guys know I've worn these a lot and they don't really crease up that much so it's a really good thing to know um, <clears throat> alright guys so basically in conclusion you know, you saw what they look like on your feet. Um, the quality is excellent. 
I mean, they are $130, and if you went out to try to buy maybe a pair of Clarks, Wallabies, or whatnot, they, uh, they're close in price. I mean, maybe you get some Clarks for 90 bucks, but these look much nicer. Now, don't get me wrong, I like Clarks too. I love the Wallaby, and that's a classic shoe, but these are really nice, and they do stand out. Anyhow, thank you for checking out my videos and uh, stay tuned for more.